what is up my homies welcome or welcome back to my channel i am shantani and you are watching the curvy girls diary so this week i'll officially begin my third decade on planet earth and there are 30 things that i have learned the hardest way in my life in the past two decades if you can relate to any of those things please do let me know in the comment section below if you like this video then don't forget to hit the like button comment share and subscribe if you haven't already i post videos every tuesday and i make videos on diy's lifestyle productivity and many more such topics with that being said let's begin today's video here are the 30 things that i learned the hardest way number one do not give the command of your life in someone else's hand your life is yours to live the moment you make someone else in charge of it they will try to fulfill their dreams and aspirations through you no matter who they are so be the in charge of your own life second make peace with the changing scenarios of your life we often find our lives changing its courses at times with the blink of an eye do not resist those changes as it will do no good let them happen they are happening for a reason far greater than your existence number three do not try to hold on to people who do not want to be a part of your life this is one of the things that i have learned probably the hardest way i have learned to let them go the more you try to hold on to them the more it will suffocate you to the point where you won't be able to breathe next do not tell people your dreams and your innermost desires the moment you tell them your desires you involuntarily let their thoughts affect yours fulfill your dreams and then let the world know number five not everyone you know are your friends having friends and knowing people are two very different things the sooner you learn that the better you need to learn to differentiate between the people you know and the people who are actually your friends. Keep your friend circle very small and stay out of drama. Number 6. Money can't buy happiness. This sentence is not always true. More often than not, the things you want to do in life or the things you always wanted to buy in life, like that Goa trip with friends, or the solo trip to the mountain all of this comes at a price and those prices will be paid by money so realistically speaking money will buy you happiness as wrong as it sounds it is a very true fact next learn everything about finance and saving money as early as possible in life sadly our education system does not provide any courses on how to manage money on day to day life. So take help of the internet and your elders or friends and learn to save money and manage money even before getting a job. Do not wait to get a job and then save money. Start saving money while you get your pocket money. Next, while saving money, also learn to spend it on yourself. Indulging in some luxuries once in a while is not a crime. Try to spend it on yourself once in a while but do it very cautiously and wisely. Learn to say no and stop feeling guilty about it. This is another thing that I learned the hardest way. If you are asked for something that either you are not comfortable with or it's out of your leg or it's something that you plain don't want to do it, say no bindas and stop feeling guilty about saying no. You don't have to explain everything to everybody. It's your life and your decision and you have a right to say no. Number 10. Don't wait for the right time to do something that your heart desires. Life is really short. So don't wait for the correct time. If your heart is asking you to go for it, then you should go for it. It's better to do a mistake and learn from it than not doing it at all and regretting it later. Next, losing someone doesn't mean that your life is over. It may seem so, but it really is not. Life doesn't wait for anyone or anything. People will come and go. Losing someone you love can be heartbreaking, but it won't stop the clock of your own life. So accept the truth and move on. Number 12. Take help. Asking for help is neither shameful nor is it a sign of weakness. On the contrary, taking help can save life. On the same context, Therapy is not a taboo. Going to a therapist can save life 
and can give you a new life. If you really need a therapy, don't shy away from taking a help from a qualified person. Number 13. Listen to what your parents have to say and appreciate their effort. They have already lived the life that we are living right now. Even though the two eras are very different from one another, all thanks to the development, still there are aspects where their expertise are unmatchable. So listen to what they are saying. Also, appreciate their effort to fit into your era. Don't try to belittle them for not knowing things the way you do. Number 14. Choose your life partner wisely. Even though future is uncertain, you need to be a little bit picky when it comes to your life partner. You will be sharing your life with them. Be mindful of that. Number 15. Treat people the same way you want to be treated. Just because someone is not as financially affluent as you are, doesn't mean they are any less of a human being, nor does it give you any right to treat them otherwise. Number 16. If you want someone to treat you a certain way, then learn to treat yourself the same way. Long story short, if you want people to respect and love you, then learn to respect and love yourself the same way first. If you don't value yourself, no one else will. Next, self-love is not selfish. Putting yourself first and being the most important person of your own life is not selfish. It's self-full. Don't let people say otherwise. Next, ignorance is a bliss. Know when to react and when to ignore. Majority of the time, your ignorance towards their mean words and stupidity will be the biggest slap on their ego and face. Next, learn to dress up for the occasion. While it's absolutely perfect to have your own style and sense of fashion, it is also important to know when you are required to dress accordingly to the situation. Do not be callous or oblivious to it. It can make or break your impression at important events. Your first impression may not be the last impression, but it surely is one of the most important impression you make. So be mindful of that. Number 20. Learn about your body. Learn about your style, your fashion choices from time to time. It does change at times and that is perfectly normal. Don't force yourself to adapt to trends that aren't for you. Not everything is for everyone. Accept that and make your own choices. Number 21. Being healthy and fit and being slim are two very different things. Just because a person is in a plus size doesn't mean they are unfit or unhealthy and vice versa. Your genetics, metabolism and environment play a huge role in shaping up your body. Don't break your head over it. As long as you are physically healthy and fit, you are good to go. Your size doesn't matter. Set routines for yourself. Have a morning and night routine that works in your favor. You don't have to follow anybody else's, but make your own. You can have different routines for your weekdays and for weekends. It helps to build a habit and gets you moving even on those days when you feel a little blue. Number 23. Be mindful of what you are consuming on the internet. Internet doesn't always equal to real life. Most of the time, in fact, people are faking it on the social media to look cool. Don't let it affect your mental health. Know when to detach from it. Next. Your mental and your emotional health is as important, if not more, as your physical health. They deserve equal amount of love, care and nurturing. Do not let people talk you out of it. Your mental health and your emotional health matters. Number 25. Speak your mind. Do not suppress your feelings inside you and then expect people to just know that stupidity of highest order. Let your thoughts be known. Reading mind is a superpower that humans generally don't possess. So speak your damn mind and let your thoughts be known. Next, take risk. Now is the time. Do the most daring thing you always wanted to do. If you don't take the risk now or in fact in your 20s, 
it's a possibility that you won't be able to do it after all then you will regret it later on in your life next learn to stand up for yourself there's a fine line between being sarcastic and being downright disrespectful know the difference and take a stand for yourself as and when required don't let people belittle you journaling manifestation meditation being grateful are not just mere terms that are used by the life coaches they can be of your best help at times learn about them and practice them they are just not some hocus pocus there's a science behind all of those terms and their usage the sooner you learn it the better number 29 have a plan even though life is as uncertain as it can get you must have a plan having a plan sets your life in the correct path no matter how your life shifts off after that always have a plan now the last one what you sow shall you reap we all have heard about this your future consequences are shaped by your present actions so be very mindful of what you sow because it will eventually make or break your life and you as a human being and now for a bonus point that i learned in my 20s is no matter what you do people will talk behind your back you can't make everyone happy so just let them be and you do you this four lines from the song kuch to log kahenge from the 1972 hindi movie amar prem summarizes our society quite well the song says kuch to log kahenge logo ka kaam hai kehna chhodo bekar ki इन बातों में कहीं बीत न जाए रहना कुछ तो लोग कहेंगे लोगों का काम है कहना